puts it right in front of her. So she turns to him and says, my, that is a big one, Bishop. Uh, I will have to see if it fits. I have heard it. <laughs> what did you say? Uh, we are 13, Lady Rathy. Uh, 14? 12. Uh, we are 13. Oh, oh dear. Uh, how careless of me. Um, is there anything I can do? Mm, just leave this to me. Uh, all keep your seats. I'm afraid Lady Jane has already risen. <laughs> Joseph, you have risen yourself. Wherever is 13 all those other nights? We always had a guest or two from outside. Do you remember? All we have to do is to make our number 14. But how, Miss Is it? Mm. Well, Dolphin, of course. Oh, that's too <laughs> clever of you, Miss Is it? <laughs> and Mr. Smith, Dolphin may sit down with us, mayn't he? Please, dear Mr. Smith, just for a moment, breaks the spell. We won't eat you, Dolphin. Well, uh, well, well then let me explain to him. Um, you see, Dolphin, there is a superstition that if 13 people sit down at a table, something staggering will happen to one of them before the night is out. That, that's, that's it, isn't it? Namely, death. Oh, yes, <laughs> namely, death. <laughs> but not before the night is out, my dear. Before the year is out. I thought it was before the night was out. Sit here, Dolphin. Oh, no. I want him. <laughs> it was my idea. I insist on having him. Yes, here, between us. Oh, well, yes. Well, as we are saved and he does not look happy, may he resume his duties? Mm. Yes, yes. And now we ladies may withdraw. Oh, yes. First, a glass of wine with you, Dolphin. Well, is this wise? To the health of our friend, Dolphin. 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 Yeah, one moment. Yeah, another toast. Fellow guests, tomorrow morning, alas, this party has to break up. Oh, and I'm sure you will all agree with me that we have had a delightful week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, it's not yeah. been an eventful week. Oh, no. It's been far too happy for that. Oh, I rise to protest. When I came here over a week ago, I had never met Lady Jane. But now, as you can see, we are engaged. <laughs> oh, well done. I would certainly call it eventful week. Oh, yes, please, Sir Joseph. No, oh, I stand corrected. And now... We're in the last evening of it. We are drawing nigh to the end of a perfect day. In seconding this motion... <sighs> you know, though I have uh, known you intimately for but for a, a short time, I, I already find it impossible to call you anything but Sam Smith. <laughs> For art, Mr. Smith, that is what we ladies call you also. <laughs> if I might say a word. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, is he not like a, a pocket edition of Mr. Pickwick? Oh, <laughs> no. Exactly. Yes. And that is how yes. I should like to paint him. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Smith, you love. We think that if you were married, you could not be quite so nice. Oh. At any rate, it could not be quite so simple. For you are a very simple soul, Sam Smith. Mm. Well, we esteem you the more for your simplicity. Thank you. Friends all, I give you the toast. 
of Sam Smith. Oh. Sam Smith. Sam Smith. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you you are very kind. <laughs> and I don't pretend that it isn't pleasant to me to be praised. But <clears throat> tell me, um, have you ever wondered why I invited you here? Of course, you muddle-headed darling. Was, was that the reason? Take care, Sammy. You're not saying what you mean. Ooh, oh, am I not? Oh, kindly excuse. Well, I dare say I am as simple as Sir Joseph says. And yet, do you really know me? Does, does any person ever know another absolutely? <laughs> Has not the simple of us a secret draw within him with, uh, with, with a lock to it? Hmm? Who do you have, Mr. Smith? Hey, dear, I'm open it to us. How oh, delicious! He is going to tell us of his first and only love. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Castro. <laughs> oh, oh, I had one, I think, a uh, long time ago. Very nice she was, too. Oh, but I've forgotten her name. No, no, no. <laughs> the person I love best was my brother. Uh, I never knew you had a brother. Well, I don't suppose any of you knew. He, uh, he, he, he died two years ago. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, Sam Smith. We should like to hear about him if it isn't too sad. Mm. Would you? <laughs> well, he was many years my junior and as... And attractive as I am commonplace. He uh, he died in a foreign land. Natural causes were certified, but there were suspicious circumstances. And I went up there determined to probe the matter to the full. Oh, I did too. Oh, yeah. You didn't say where the place was? It was uh, Monte Carlo. Oh. <laughs> Dolphin, hmm. another glass for Miss Isit. Oh. oh, do go on. Yes, well, my inquiries were slow, but well, I became convinced that my brother had been poisoned. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh dreadful, you poor man. Well, I hope, Sam Smith, that you got on the track of the criminals. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, did, did, did you speak, Miss Isit? Uh, uh, yeah, I, um, I think not. Uh, what did you say about the criminals? Uh, no, 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 not the criminals. There was only one. A man or woman? Yes, well, we are not yet certain. Oh. Well, what we do know is that my brother was visited in his room that night by someone who must have been the murderer. It was someone who spoke English and was certainly dressed as a man, although it may have been a woman. Uh, there is proof that it was someone who had been to the tables that night. Yes, well, I got in touch with every possible, although I had to follow some of them to very distant parts. It is extraordinarily interesting. Uh, outwardly, many of them seemed seemed to be quite respectable people. Ah, you can't go by that, Sam Smith. Oh, yeah. I didn't. <laughs> I made the most exhaustive inquiries into their private lives. I did it so cunningly that not one of them suspected why I was so anxious to make his or her acquaintance. And then, when I was ready for them, I invited them round to my house for a week. And they are sitting around my table this evening. You <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> wanted to know why I asked you here. Well, I'm afraid, in consequence, that I have wandered a little too far from the toast. But I thank you, Sir Joseph. I thank you all for the too kind way in which you have Drunk my health. In the name of every one of us, Mr. Smith, 
I tell you that this is an outrage. <laughs> this well, I was afraid you wouldn't like it. May I ask you, sir, whether all this week you have been surreptitiously ferreting into our private affairs, and perhaps even rummaging through our trunks. Oh, <laughs> that was it? You, you remember how I pressed you all to show your prowess on the tennis courts and the golf links while I stayed at home? That was my time for the trunks. <laughs> well, was there ever such a man? Did you open our letters? Every one of them. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Some very <laughs> queer things in them. Oh, there was one about a, a luncheon at the Ritz. You will know me, the man wrote, by the gardenia I shall carry in my hand. Well, perhaps I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> but, but the lady who got that letter, oh, she need not be frightened. She is married. And her yeah. husband is here with her. <laughs> but I won't tell you anymore. I think you should be compelled to tell. Ruffy, there are only two ladies here with their husbands. Yours and mine, Green. Joseph, I don't need to tell you that, that it wasn't your wife. It certainly wasn't yours, William. Oh, of that I am well assured. Take care what you say, Preen. That is very like a reflection on my wife. Oh, let that pass. The other is the serious thing. So serious that it is a nightmare. Whom do you accuse of doing away with your brother, sir? Come on, out with it. You are not all turning against me, are you? I assure you that I don't accuse any of you. Yet. I know that one of you did it. I'm not sure which one, but I shall know soon. Soon? But how soon? Soon after the men join the ladies tonight. Oh, I, I, I ought to... <laughs> I ought to tell you that I'm to try a little experiment tonight. Something I have thought out, which I have every confidence will make the guilty person fall into my hands like a ripe plum. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't do that. <laughs> we insist, Smith, on hearing what this this experiment is to be. That would spoil it. Oh, but, but I can tell you this. My speech had a little trap in it. And all the time I was talking, I was watching whether any of you would fall into that trap. <laughs> I didn't notice anything. You w weren't meant to, Mrs. Preen. Uh, may I ask, uh, without pressing the personal note, uh, did anyone fall into your trap? Uh, I, uh, I think so. Look, Smith, we must have the name of this person. Oh, oh Mrs. Preen? Has fainted. Oh, give me some water. Ooh. Some water. <laughs> what? What? Well, who? I'm all right now. William, just go back to your seat. Why are you all staring at me so? Dear Mrs. Preen, we are so glad you are feeling better. I wonder what upset you. I never knew her faint before. I expect it was the heat. Yeah, say it was the heat. Emily! No, it wasn't the heat, Miss Isitt. It was Mr Smith's talk of a trap. Oh, my dear! I suddenly remembered how, as soon as that man mentioned that the place of the crime was Monte Carlo, some lady had let her wine glass fall. <clears throat> That's why I fainted. I can't remember who she was. It was Miss Isset. <gasps> really? Mm. Thing that called the more reliable. If Lady Ruffy and Mrs. Preen would kindly formulate their charges. Oh, come, let us keep our heads. Yes, that's that's what I say. 
What about a motive? Scotland Yard always seeks for that first. Well, 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 well I see uh, two possible motives. If a woman did it, well, they... They tended to run after my brother. And you all know of what a woman scorned is capable. Brother. <laughs> then again, my brother had a large sum of money with him, which disappeared. But if you could trace that money, it might be a help. All sorts of things are a help. The way you are all pretending to know nothing about the matter is a help. It might be a help if I could find out which of you has a clammy hand that at this moment wants to creep beneath the table. Ooh. Oh, I tell you something else. Murderers' hearts beat differently from everybody else's. Listen. <clears throat> yeah, whose was it? Hmm? Oh. <gasps> oh, dear, oh, dear. I thought I heard it. It seemed to come from across the table. Mm -hmm. Oh, please don't think that because this man made me scream that I did it. <laughs> I've never been on a yacht in my life. <laughs> yacht? At Monte Carlo or anywhere else. Bella! Uh, have I said anything odd? Mm -hmm. A yacht? But there, there, there has been no talk about a yacht. Has there? No, or perhaps there should have been. It was on his yacht that my brother died. You said in his rooms. Yes, I said. That's what I said. But I wanted to find out which of you knew better. Oh, and Miss Vale? Uh, I can explain it all mm -hmm. if... if yes. Give me a little time. Uh, well, perhaps you would all like to take a few minutes. No, no, I admit it. I was at Monte Carlo with my brother when an Englishman died rather mysteriously on a yacht. <laughs> and when Mr Smith told us of his brother's death, I concluded that it was very probably the same person. Well, I presume that you accept my uh, sister's statement. Absolutely. Well, she is not the only one of you who knew that yacht. You all admit to having been at Monte Carlo two years ago, I suppose? Hmm? Well, one of us wasn't. Lady Jane was never there. What do you say to that, Lady Jane? Yes, tell him, Jane. Yes, tell me. You were never there. Say so. Why shouldn't I have been there? Well, no reason, but when I happened to mention Monte Carlo to you the other day, I certainly understood that... Jane, I never forget a word that you say, and you did say you had never been there. So you... Jack, you accuse me? You... I, I haven't, I haven't. Oh, oh, you have all heard that Captain Jennings and I are engaged. I want you all to understand that we are so no longer. Oh! oh. oh. Jane! Oh. Uh, take, take, take comfort, Captain. <laughs> if Lady Jane should prove to be the person wanted, mind you, well, mind you, perhaps, perhaps she isn't. Why, then, the, the, the ring is a matter of small importance because... Well, you would be parted in any case. I mean, by... Oh, by the handcuffs. Oh, I forgot to say that I have them here. Uh, Dolphin, pass them round, would you? I don't suppose some of you have seen them before. <laughs> a pocket edition of Picnic, we called him. <laughs> He's more like a pocket edition of the devil. Oh, oh please. Please, a little courtesy. After all, I am your host. Oh, do, do take a look at them, Miss Vale. They are adjustable pair in case they should be needed for smaller wrists. Uh, 
Uh, would you like to try them on, Mrs. Castro? They 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 close with, with a, a, a click, a, a click. Hmm. Yes, we quite understand. How stupid of us. We have all forgotten that he said the murderer may have been a woman in a man's clothes. And I have just remembered that when we played the charade on Wednesday, he wanted the ladies to dress up as men. Was it to see whether one of us could have passed for a man that night at Monte Carlo? Mm. Ah, you got it, Mrs Bland. <laughs> well, none of you did dress up at any rate. Oh, Sir Joseph, some of us did dress up in private. Um, and we all agreed that, well, of course, there's nothing in it, but we all agreed that the only figure that might have deceived a careless eye was Lady Rathis. I say! Joseph, do you sit there and, and, and permit this? Now, 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 there is nothing to be touchy about. Have, have I not been considerate? Smith! <laughs> I hold you to be an impudent scoundrel. Me, not I, who lost a brother in circumstances so painful, appear for a, a little kindly consideration from those of you who are, who are innocent, <coughs> shady characters, though you be. I must say, that rather touches me. Some of us might have reasons for being reluctant into having our past at Monty inquired into without being the person you are asking for. Precisely. And I am presuming that to be the position of 11 of you. Oh, Joseph, I must ask you to come upstairs with me. Oh, to back our things. Well, for my part, after poor Mr Smith's appeal, I think it would be rather heartless not to say and see this thing out. Especially, Mr Smith, if you would give us just an inkling of what your little experiment in the drawing room is to be. Uh, uh, well, I can't say anything about it except that it isn't to take place in the drawing room. Uh, you ladies are to go this evening to Dolphin's room, where <coughs> we shall uh, join you uh, presently. Why should we go there? Because I tell you too, Mrs. Preen. I go to no such room. I shall leave this house at once. I also. All of us. I want to go home. Joseph, come. William, I'm ready. I wish you a long goodbye, Mr Smith. The ladies will now adjourn to Dolphin's room. I say no. Let us. Why shouldn't the innocent ones help him? I knew you would be on my side, Mrs. Castro. <laughs> Cold hand, warm heart, that's the saying, isn't it? Oh. Oh. Those of you who wish to leave this man's house, follow me. My brother's cigarette case was of faded green leather and a whole had been burned in the back of it. Oh. What did you say to my sister? Well, I only said to her that she isn't your sister. <laughs> oh, so you never met my brother, Miss Isit? Um, not that I know of, Mr Smith. Well, I, I, I have a photograph of him I should like to show you. I don't care to see it. You are going to see it. No, 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 that is not my brother. That is someone you have never seen before. But how did you know that it wasn't my brother? I rather think you knew, Richard, Miss Is it? I rather think I do, Mr. Smith. What then? Draw up closer, won't you? <coughs> Uh, you, you are not leaving, Vale. Uh, well, I thought I would... Uh... Oh, sit down! Right. <laughs> uh, 
you were not drinking anything, Gawley. Oh, Captain, the port is with you. Uh, Smith, there are a few words that I think it my duty to say. This is a very unusual situation. Oh, yes. You, you'll have a cigarette, Preen. I uh, wonder why Mrs Bland, she's the only one of them that there seems to be nothing against. Yes, a bit fishy, that. It's rather odd than my wife fainting. I dare say the ladies are saying the same sort of thing about us. Uh, no, thanks. Uh, Smith, I'm sure I speak for all when I say that we would esteem it a favour if you would ask Dolphin to withdraw. Oh, uh, he, he, he has his duties. No, thank you. Uh, he gets on my nerves. Can nothing disturb this man? Uh, no, thank you. Well, evidently not. Everything seems to point to its being a woman, wouldn't you say, Smith? Well, well, I wouldn't say everything, Sir Joseph. A dolphin thinks it was a man. <coughs> One of us here. Did he know your brother? Yes, he was my brother's servant out there. In what? Well, I mean, he wasn't the fellow who... Who, 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 what, Vale? I say, what do you say? Uh, nothing, but I say... Are we to understand that you have had dolphins spying on us here? Well, yes, that, that was the idea. And he helped by uh, taking your fingerprints. No, yeah, well, how can that help? He, he sent them to Scotland Yard. Oh, he did, did he? What shows finger marks best? Uh, uh, glass, I believe. <laughs> ah. <laughs> now I see why the Americans went dry. Smith, how can you be sure that Dolphin wasn't the man himself? Somehow I still cling to the hope that it was a woman. Ah, well, if it was a woman, Smith, what will you do? She shall hang by the neck until she is dead. Uh, you won't try the Benedictine veil. No, no, thanks. Did you notice what the ladies are doing in Dolphin's room, Lucy? Uh, 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 oh, yes, Sir Joseph. Um, they were wondering, Sir Joseph, which of you it was that did it. How like women. By the way, Smith, do you know how the poison was administered? Uh, yes, uh, it was It was in coffee. You are to take the yellow cup, sir. Who said so? The lady who poured out this evening, sir. Aha! Uh -huh. Who was she? Lady Jane Ray, sir. I don't like it. Don't drink that coffee, Sam. Look, why shouldn't he drink it? Well, if it was she, a desperate woman, it was given in coffee the other time, remember? Oh, but stop. She wouldn't be likely to do it in the same way twice. Ah, uh, well, I'm not so sure. Perhaps she doesn't suspect that Smith knows how it was given the first time. I mean, we didn't know until the ladies had left the room. I say, then. That's very good. Well, I have no doubt that she merely meant that she had sugared it to his taste. Sugar? Sugar? Don't we analyse it? Smith, I insist on you drinking that coffee. <laughs> Lady Jane, well, who would have thought it? Lady Jane, well, who would have thought it? Look, give me the yellow cup. Nobly done, in any case. Look here, Jennings. You're among friends. It hadn't an, an odd taste, had it? Well, <coughs> not a bit. But, uh, well, he wouldn't feel the effects yet. Uh, he wouldn't feel them yet. Yeah, well, Vale ought to know. Well, Vale knows. <laughs> well, why ought Vale to know, Smith? 
Oh, uh, he used to practice as a doctor. Well, you never mentioned that to me, Vale. Well, why should I? Oh, well, well, why should he? He's not allowed to practice anymore. A doctor? Poison? Ease of access? We are where we were again. Well, at any rate, that fellow has gone. <laughs> Excuse me, but I suddenly remembered that Rathi has called this the end of a perfect day. <laughs> yes, well, it isn't ended yet. I feel that I'm not my old bright self. I can't believe it was my wife, and yet that fainting, you know... Perhaps I should go away until it all blew over. I don't think I should ever marry again. There is something shocking about, about sitting here, suspecting each other like this way. But let's just go into that room and have it out. Yes, well, well I am quite ready. Uh, uh, nothing more to drink, anyone? Uh, I'll bring your cigarette, Captain. Smith! Sam, before we go... Can I have a word with you, alone? Uh, sorry, Joseph. And now, shall we join the ladies? <laughs> <laughs>